Hey guys, welcome to MathsPays.com. We're looking at percentage change, um, probably more a fact, profit and loss, which is part of our financial mathematics section. Okay, so um, what is profit and what is loss? Well, hopefully you can recognize that profit is the money that's made on top of a purchase. So you might buy something for, let's say, 100 bucks and you sell it for uh, $120, you make a profit. You end up with more than what you started with. Um, as opposed to a loss, obviously, where you uh, might buy for $100 and then you sell for $80, dollars you have less money um, what we're gonna look at is a, a bit of an example I guess to start off with of a hundred dollars um, that is now being reduced down to fifty dollars and it's asking us to find the percentage loss now looking at at face value you're probably gonna say hey that's fifty dollars uh, so and so therefore making it fifty percent and that's absolutely spot-on but what if there are harder amounts can you work out those questions so as I said, most of these questions will be to do with profit or loss. So the very first thing that I always like to do is I want to find the profit or the loss of what I'm starting with. Now in this case, we start with $100, we now end up with $50, which means we have a loss of $50. That's how much money I am losing. The question now for the second part asked me to find the percentage loss. Well, in reality, what this is actually asking me to do, it's asking me to write the loss as a percentage, make sure you write this down too if you haven't done so, as a percentage of the start price. And it's always the start price for profit and loss. And usually, unless they tell you otherwise, like they might say, that question right as a loss as a percentage of the selling price, but that wouldn't be percentage loss. Um, so otherwise, any time they ask you for percentage loss, it's always a loss as a percentage of the start price. So what is our loss? Well, we've already worked that out, thankfully. The loss was $50, and we want to put that out of, or in other words, words over, what we started with, which is $100. Now that's as a fraction, we want a percentage. So how do we turn any fraction to a percentage? Well, we simply multiply it by 100 and that's where we get our 50%, which is our answer. And that's what we need to start off with. Obviously, um, with harder values, that won't be just as easy. Uh, but certainly, if you follow this process, you put your profit or your loss over your starting price and times by 100. Okay, let's have a crack at some of your own questions. Okay, so press pause here and then have a crack at this question to come back and let's see how you went. Okay, how'd you go guys? You get it right, let's have a look. So Ronnie is buying a new iPhone 7 for $800, um, but he now sells it for, oh, 650 which means, unfortunately, he's lost a bit of money. So if I want to calculate his loss, we've got our $800 and we're taking away $650. So when I'm doing that on my calculator, or hopefully we can do that in our head, we can realize that he's losing $150 out of his purchase. That's the first question answered. Now it says calculate his loss as a percentage of the purchase price. And in brackets, I've even put there percentage loss. That means my percentage loss well, our loss we know is $150 out of the purchase price or the starting price of $800. And again, in order to multiply that, uh, so I'll turn that into a percentage, we multiply that by 100. So I'm going to chuck it on a calculator, chuck it into 100, and we get to two decimal places, well, exactly 18.75%. So that's he loses basically 18.75% of what he paid to start off with. I hope you got that answer. Okay, let's have a crack at another question now. D, she's getting a great deal on a MacBook Pro, bit of an Apple theme here, for $1,500, but she later sells it for $1,900. Well, automatically we should think, hey, she's getting more money, which means she is making a profit. So this question then asks to calculate her percentage profit. So once again, I'm going to say, first step, we want to calculate what that profit is going to be. In this case, we've got $1,900, and I'm going to subtract the original $1,500 that she started with, which means that she makes $400 on top, which is her profit. 
Okay, the second part of the question is actually answering the percentage profit. So my percentage profit will equal my profit, which is 400 over the starting price of $1,500. I'm then going to times that by 100 to convert that into a percentage. Remember, we always times it by 100 to turn a fraction to a percentage. And we get end up on that question. She's making 26.6 recurring percent on top of her what she started with. You could also write 26 point um, or 26.7, I guess, to one decimal place. Um, you could even write 26 and two thirds percent, uh, depending on what the questions asked. Alrighty, one last question for you. Find the percentage change from $50 to $90. Okay, have a quick crack at this and see how you go. All right, you get the answer. So um, in this case, if we're starting from $50, we're now going to 90. We, of course, are making a profit. In this case, we're making a profit of $40. If you're not sure how to do that, we are simply subtracting the $50 from the $90 to make the $40. Once I've got that, to find my percentage profit or my percentage change, we can have our profit over the starting price of 50 and we had times it by 100. Now you can do it in the calculator or you might recognize um, that if I do that, we're going to end up coming up with 80%. So we're making 80%, which kind of makes sense because it's nearly double, isn't it? Double would be $100, which would be um, an extra 100% on top, you know, so it's very close. Okay, guys, that is percentage change. Very basic, I guess, um, but certainly a very popular type of question. Make sure you know this inside out, particularly for year 8, year 9, year 10. They love percentage change questions. Always, first of all, okay, find that, uh, find that profit or loss. So I'm going to put that there find the profit or the loss and the second thing write your profit or your loss as a fraction of the starting price and then we times it by 100 that's profit and loss guys have an awesome day